We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Ought to be a good one here between the New York Yankees and the Oakland A's. The Yanks look for their seventh straight victory next. Daniel Mengden will be on the mound for the series opener. What's your take on him, Dan? This guy's Mr. Old School. He reminds me a little bit of Catfish Hunter. Kind of animated on the mound. Has a little bit of a herky-jerky delivery. Not overpowering. Good fastball. 89-92. to 92. Good mix of off-speed pitches. But I will say this. A strike thrower, and he's not afraid of the bat. He'll throw the ball over the plate. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Underway now on a Friday night as the first pitch of our series misses for ball one. This Oakland ball club entering play here tonight, even after the victory last time out, they come in trying to turn things first around pitch. as they've been seven slumping of late, winning in just three of their last nine games. And back-to-back -back pitches out of the zone to begin the evening. It's 2-0 and now. Not the warmest night you'll see around here, and even 50 degrees at game time. Here's the 2 and 0 pitch to Gardner. Now a cut fastball finds the target 2 and 1. And he couldn't pull that one back as he clearly broke the plane to the plate and that'll be ruled a strike. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. You know what was really impressive to me about that strikeout? He fell behind 2-0 to start the at-bat. That's a pretty bad place to be, but then he kind of refocused himself and came right back with three quality pitches in a row to sit him down. That's not easy to do, but now his focus has to hone in on getting ahead on the next guy. And that misses ball one. LeMahieu is a strong defender playing up the middle in the infield. He's got great hands, good range, the big arm, and those skills are not lost on his teammates, his coaches, or his front office for that matter. Yeah, he has the ability. What I love about this ball player, he's got such a great internal clock. It seems like it's bang, bang at first every time, but the guy's out. He's got sure hands and an accurate throwing arm. Cut fastball is in for a strike two and one. So let's take a peek at the umpiring crew in this one. Behind the plate is Matthew Ross. Hey, d -Row, this is a pitcher's best friend. Matthew Ross, very wide strike zone. Yeah, no excuses from the offense today. You know coming in when you see the lineup card and Matt Ross is behind the dish, you better be aggressive. Now here's a swing and a high pop-up drifting into shallow right field. Noisy backs up and takes care of it. Two away. That is her. The right fielder, number 99, Aaron Judd. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that'll bring up the big bat of Aaron Judge. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And that's in there for strike one. Bases are empty here with two men out. High chopper to third. But this will get foul for strike two. Right three called and the inning is over. One, two, three go the Bombers. Yankees nothing. A's coming to bat. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Jay Happ is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for the Yanks. What do we need to know here, Danny? 
Hey, thanks, Matt. Jay Hab, big tall guy, about 6'4, 215 pounds. It's really put things together. Not overpowering, but pinpoint control. Reminds me a lot of former AL Cy Young Award winner Cliff Lee. Control with really good stuff. Good yeah, fastball, good changeup, and his curveball is getting a lot better. First pitch on its way. A bouncer to the left side. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. And the throw pulls the first baseman off the bag, and he's safe at first. Batting center, the right fielder. Deep end. Got it. Outfielder Steven Piscotty the next to hit. And as the Yankees get started here tonight, guys, they've run their win streak up to six in a row now, and they're really playing some inspired baseball. Yeah, Matty, this is one of those special moments throughout the course of the season where everyone kind of looks around the clubhouse and takes stock. Six in a row, you have a chance to rattle off a seventh. You start saying, hey, maybe something special is going to happen this summer. 2-0 oh now. As a look, now the pitch. Well, somebody's sitting off speed right here. Only way he was laid on that heater is he was expecting another changeup. And he lays off again, ball three. In past meetings with Jay Happ, he's gone three for eight. He also has one home run. Loriano on at first, nobody out. And he fouls this one off. Here comes the payoff pitch. Nope, that misses. So a single and a walk. And it's first and second with nobody out. Always that tough to good. issue a free pass, but That's especially good. troublesome when you give up a single right before that to start the inning. Good. We'll see if he can figure out a way to wiggle out of this. Into the box now. Marcus Simeon was an 0 for 4 effort for him in Wednesday's ball game. First pitch of the at bat. Nope, up there. First and second here with nobody out. Can't sit back long enough, and the count evens up at one and one. From the belt, kicks and deals. Yeah. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Stanton a range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first down. Batting four. The first baseman. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Matt Olson. And he's hoping to get things going at the plate. It's been a bit of a struggle for him in recent games. First pitch of the at bat on its way. In there, 0 and 1. From the stretch. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. You know, on a cold night like this, I think you're going to see him continue to elevate pitches and let these guys just fly out to the warning track. And that's through into left field for a base hit. And now he has some trouble with it in left. And the run will score as the A's get off to a 1-0 lead. Boy, that has to feel good as a hitter, d Where You get that base hit to give your team the lead. You have to feel good when you get down to first base. Yeah, it's just a nice approach. You see him turn to his boys right there and get fired up with the dugout. 100%, not trying to do too much. Able to quiet the moment down, center himself, and come through in a big spot. 
Here's Chris Davis now. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Tough situation early out on the mound, but if he can limit the damage right here, might build some confidence and get him rolling. Now the 1 0. All two, half. Has a reputation or a knack, if you will, for working himself out of tough situations when he finds himself there. A lot of relief pitchers are known for that, obviously, but as a starter, that's certainly a valuable characteristic to have. Matty Dean, I'm going to tell you who likes this. The bullpen likes it, and the manager likes this because most pitchers are going to get into trouble at least one or two times during the course of a start, and it's nice to know as a manager that you have a guy that's out there that can pitch with men on base and wiggle out of some tough jams. This guy's made a living doing this in his career. Here it is, the 3 0. And that misses as Davis will reach its ball four. At this rate, he's going to set some kind of a record for walks issued in a game, or he'll get an early hook. We'll see if he can settle down here and start to find the strike zone, or if he continues to struggle. Into the box now, Matt Chapman. And Oakland with an opportunity for more damage here in the first. He's set. Here it comes. One oh. Drops to the hitter right there for laying off with a guy on third. You want to be aggressive, but you have to get a pitch you can drive. The 1-0. One and one. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. Into the corner and slicing foul. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Is laid off and the count runs full. 23 pitches already here in the first inning. And this is swung on and missed. Oh, a huge punch out there as the bases remain loaded with two away now. Anytime a pitcher locates a fastball on the inside corner, it's going to be a tough pitch to hit. That one was spot on, and he had no answer for it. And that brings up Chad Pinder. Yes, yeah, he'll take a look at ball one. I think this inning could have far-reaching effects in this game. They're really making him work, and unless he dials it in, it's probably going to limit how deep he goes into this game. Two out, bases loaded. Two and zero, oh the count to the A's left fielder. Nowhere to put anybody. 2-0 count, not a good spot to be in as a pitcher. In the air, out to right. Judge is on the move. And he makes the catch as just the one run comes across in the inning. I have to imagine there's a full moon tonight, judging by this bunch. We're back to Friday Night Baseball on the show after this. Digging in, Giancarlo Stanton. And he's hoping to break out of the slump he's been stuck in. Giancarlo Stanton. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. And that's taken for strike one. A pretty aggressive pitch right there up in the zone. Surprised he didn't offer at it. Nope. And he misses with it one and one. One and one.
no offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. He's fallen behind now, three and one. They know the threat this guy possesses at the plate. I know it's 3-1 in this situation right here, but I can't imagine anything comes over the heart of the plate. Can't keep that one fair, and now the count's full. And that misses for ball four. So it's a leadoff walk here to start the second. Well, the reason power hitters generally draw more walks than other guys is exactly what we saw right there. Pitchers work around them and nibble the corners a lot more so they don't get burned. He made some good pitches, but he just couldn't get him to chase enough out of the zone. Digging in now for the Yankees, Torres. First chance for him here with a man on following the leadoff walk. From the belt, kicks and deals. Nobody out, runner on first. And one and one as this one's in on the hands. Taken high and deep to right. But he's going to haul this one in on the run as he winds up just shy of the wall for the first down. That is it. The designated hitter, Mike Ford. Now to the plate, Mike Ford. Day off for him yesterday, but back out there for this one. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. So this is pulled in by the shortstop. That is seven. The third baseman, Gio Urshela. That'll bring in Giovanni Urshela. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. From the stretch. Back outside. That one's going to find the seats. Strike one. One one home. Two high. Ball. Two out with the man at first. Line drive base hit. Stanton ignores his coach. He's chugging for home. And he will be tagged out at the plate. So it remains a one-run deficit here as the side is retired. One left for the Yankees. It remains 1-0. At the plate, Sheldon Noisy. He's set to lead off the home the half of the second. Sheldon Noisy. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Maybe a little jumpy there as he swings through the fastball. Fastball called for strike two. I got the count. Oh, and two. Nothing in two count and the pitch. 
and he couldn't get him to chase the 0-2 fastball. It's one and two. Hey, I get it. He wants to set up that breaking ball down and away, but that 0-2 fastball wasn't even close. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line, but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two-strike approach either. Into the box now, Austin Allen. As the first pitch to him is taken low and away for ball one. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. Called strike at the knees. Evens the count at one and one. Bases are empty, one man out. And now a fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's two and one now. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. Fastball is outside. It's full now. Three and two. You could pretty much book it that a fastball's coming. A challenge fastball right here. He cannot allow the nine-hole hitter to get on base with the top of the order looming. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine-hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. Well, he's really laboring well in the early going here. That's his third walk of the game already. We'll see if he can get it together or if this is just one of those days where he's going to have to grind his way to this start. Now at the plate, Ramon Laureano. First pitch of the at bat. No balls in one strike. Oh, one pitch. Ball one. I wonder if that call not going his way right there has anything to do with walking the last guy. We all know umpires don't give you much on the corners if you're not throwing strikes consistently. The one one home is an off speed pitch taken for a ball. Wow, that's 40 pitches for him already. This doesn't have the makings of a start that he's going to go very deep. Ah. Two and two. Line drive to left. But this will hang up just enough as he takes it in in stride in left center for the second out. Up next for Oakland. The right dealer. Steven. Piscotti. Next up for the A's, Steven Piscotti reached base via the walk in his first plate appearance. From the belt, the pitch high in the air down the right field line. And foul. A runner on first with two away. And that misses one and one. Swing and a chopper to third. Scooped up, throw over to LeMayhew at second, and that'll do it. One left for Oakland. We play two innings, it's one to nothing.
In now, Luke Voigt. He too had three knocks in yesterday's win. Luke Voigt. First pitch on its way. One and one. Now the one and one pitch. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. Left center, base hit. Dan, how hard is it to massage your way through such a deep lineup? I mean, even the eight, nine hole hitters are solid big league players. You know, Mark, these days you're not seeing a lot of defensive specialists in the infield or outfield. If you're in that starting lineup these days, there's a pretty good job you could swing the bat. In now, Kyle Higashioka. As he'll take one up in the zone, but indeed in the strike zone for the first strike. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. Higashioka, a six foot one inch right handed swinger and thrower. He was selected in the seventh round during the 2008 draft. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was, my hat's off to him. A runner at first with no outs here. Now here's a comebacker back to the mound. One there. Relay to Olsen and they turn the double play. Up next for the Yankees, the center fielder, Brett Gardner. Back to the top of the order now. And up next, the left-handed hitting Brett Gardner. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Fastball too high to start him out here, 1 0. Late on that one as it's fouled off to the left side. Here it comes. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. In there, two and two. One of the best ways to keep a guy uncomfortable is to pound him inside. They're doing that, and this one caught the zone. The two two. This is pulled into right. Piscotti is there and he'll put it away to retire the side. Down in order go the Yankees. They trail this one one to nothing. Back at the Oakland Coliseum and before we go much further let's check in with Heidi Watney. Well, Matt, I talked to manager Bob Melvin during the break about his thoughts on the A's hitters to this point. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. They've already worked out three walks, so he feels as though that kind of willingness to let the opposition work themselves into trouble will continue to result in good things for them on the scoreboard. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Striding in for Oakland, Marcus Semyon. He flew out in his last at-bat. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Hey. 
strike. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. A shortstop behind with a one and two count. Hit the other way out toward right field. Judge is on his horse. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. Up next to Oakland, the first baseman, Matt Olson. And that'll bring up Matt Olson, looking to follow up the RBI single from his first at bat. Yeah, and he's got to feel super confident right now. He's the only real offense in this game. Guys on the mound have been executing every pitch. They haven't played perfectly as it's hit on the ground. On to first, and Hap's rolling now, two away. The batter, number two, designated hitter, Chris Davis. Chris Davis next to bat. Outfield shaded a bit to left center, the first pitch. A ball and no strikes. Hey, they say solos won't kill us, but I got to believe this guy's looking to do exactly that. High in the air down the right field line. Heading after it is Judge, but this will land untouched. Two out, nobody on. Ball. And there's ball two now. Two ball. That was a tempting pitch to swing at right there. A big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark. The 2-2. Two -two. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. One, two, three, go the A's. But they're up one to nothing. And that sends DJ LeMayhew into the box as we begin the top of the fourth. The second base, DJ LeMayhew. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Tried to check it, and it's 0-1. And, one and one. Two and one. Ball. Three and one now. Great AB up until this point. A walk right here could really just infuse some confidence into this lineup. And it's fouled away. And another foul ball. The next three, two. Fouled off. He'll try it again, three and two. Hey, have an A-B right here. I know it's frustrating the heck out of the pitcher. You keep fouling these pitches off, maybe one misses over the heart of the plate. Oh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. 
That's a pretty good pitch right there. That fastball on the inner half of the plate. You can see that he just isn't able to get those arms extended and pretty ugly swing right there. And that'll bring up Aaron Judge. And he takes ball one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2 and 0. If you've been paying attention, the guy on the mound does not want to come inside. If I'm at the plate, I'm leaning out over. Lined hard toward right center. And he will run this one down. A good read off the bat for the second out. Boy, sometimes they say you hit it hard and good things will happen. Well, that's not the case right there. That was a bullet that just stayed up and is caught in the outfield. Digging in for his second at bat, Giancarlo Stanton. He drew a base on balls his first time up. Now here's the pitch. Here's a cold strike about thigh high, nothing in one. I know it's cliche and it's tired at times, but a well located fastball down at the knees is still the best pitch in the game. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Popped him up. Olsen has a play. And that ends the inning. So the Yanks go 1-2-3. They're on the short end of a 1-0 score. Digging in, Matt Digging Chapman off. comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Matt. Chapman. The pitch. And that misses inside 1 and 0. And this one's too far inside, ball 2. Now here's the pitch. Too high, and it's three and zero. Oh. Kind of frustrating as a pitcher when you start an inning off with three straight balls, like he has here in the fourth. Makes you start wondering what's going on. Pitch on the way, and that misses for ball four. It's a leadoff walk that starts the bottom of the fourth. Well, that is definitely not the way to start an inning. One thing to give up a walk, but to do it on four pitches is pretty alarming. He looks a little thrown off right now. Now in the box, Chad Pinder. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. First pitch of the at bat. Turned on that one and crushed it, just pulled it a little foul. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Hit on the ground to third. He's got it. LeMay Hugh for one. Devoit in time for the double play. Nice job on the mound to bounce back from the leadoff walk. Those are usually pretty costly, but that won't be the case this time after the two ball. Coming to the plate now, Sheldon Noisy. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. One ball, no strikes to count. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. 
it's a lot easier to hit when you're putting yourself in good hitters counts. This guy's done a great job not swinging at pitchers' pitches, and when he's getting the ball in the zone, he's getting the barrel to it. He's been hot lately. Down low, and the plot thickens here. Three and zero. Oh. Well, he knows it, but this is the kind of guy you just have to go right after. He's not the biggest threat with the bat, so it's time to challenge him right here. And he gets the call there, three and one. You maybe get two pitches a game where all the guesswork goes out the window. This is certainly that situation. The three one. He loses him on ball four. And things are not looking good here in the fourth inning. That's the second walk of the frame. Good time for the catcher to go out to the mound and have a chat with this guy to give him a little breather. So digging in now, Austin Allen. And we'll see if they can make him pay for the two-out walk. Always considered a big no-no, of course. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. One -oh. Perfect time for a mound visit right here. Just give him a breather, a chance to collect himself and get back to work. Here's the 1 0. Pulled toward right center field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. A couple of walks, but no damage. We're back to Friday night baseball on the show after this. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Thanks, Matt. I talked with the Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far. And flat out, he told me they just need to put better swings on the ball right now. He said they're searching for ways to drive the ball with some authority because it's just not happening for them today. They haven't gotten an extra base hit yet, so it's been a real struggle getting guys into scoring position. But the key, he said, is not to panic. Sometimes you just have to fight through the downturns and keep your focus and energy high. Leading off the game. Okay, thank you, Heidi. The short stop. Labor Torres. Here comes the first pitch. Torres is at the plate as he watches ball one. Ball one, no strike. The wind up and the 1 0 pitch. One one. We got two balls, one strike. Hit down the third baseline, but this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Center fielder on the run. And he tracks it down. Nice play for the first out. Now batting. Designated hitter. Mike Ford. Next for New York, Mike Ford. Hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, he hit it hard. That's all you can ask. You can't control the result sometimes, Matty. Just unlucky with the placement. He pops him up toward the left side of the infield. And this is taken in for the second out. Now batting. Third baseman. Gio Urshela. Into the box, Gio Urshela, a base hit in his first trip. The pitch. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Long run for the center fielder. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. One, two, three, go the Bombers. They're down one nothing.
And that'll bring in Ramon Laureano. He'll get his side started in the inning. And Dan, so far, they've been stifled offensively since the first inning. Boy, they sure have, Matt. They came out of the gates and got hot right away. But whatever was going for them pretty much has disappeared. We'll see if they can wake it back up. Now the pitch. Hey. One and one. The one one. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. The one two. That's ball two. Two balls, two strikes. Grounded down the third baseline. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. Pulls this one in the air out to left. On the move is Stanton. And he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. The right fielder. Steve Piscotti. So that'll bring up Steven Piscotti. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. First pitch on its way. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Under it now is Stanton to make the catch, and there are two away now. The batter number 10. Shortstop. Marcus. Simeon. Ready once again, Marcus Simeon. First pitch of the at bat. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. Hey, it's not always about filling up the strike zone all the time every inning. He's pitching well as we're moving into the middle innings, but interestingly, less than 50% of his first pitches have been for strikes. Now a swing and a third straight fly ball here should get him out of the inning. One, two, three. And they keep the inning alive with a base hit, but you can see that's only the third hit. He's given up the entire game, so he's still in total control out there. Stepping in, Matt Olson, one for two in the ball game thus far. Here's the first pitch to him. Yanked high and deep down the line in right. And it's a foul ball. Hey, a two-out single isn't all that bad, but it can be when you've got this part of the lineup coming up. Two out with the man at first. Clearly off with his timing on that one, a swinging strike. Man, as a pitcher, you have to love pitching 0-2 multiple ways up down in and out throw the breaking ball a lot of different ways to get guys out still no balls and two strikes the next 0-2 ball that's out Fastball laid off well below the knees. Here now the 2-2. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. The A's strand one, but they're on top one to nothing. For a lineup that really hasn't found its groove in this one. Yeah, only two hits so far, Matt, and not very many hard hit balls either. We'll see if they can start making some adjustments. Hit in the air to shallow center. Noisy, ranging into the outfield. 
He gets there and makes the play for the first down. Every pitcher loves to get quick outs, right? How about that? One pitch, one out, a pop-up to start the inning. Digging in to try it again, Kyle Higashioka. First delivery to him on the way. Hey, I hope that call doesn't throw him off his game right here. He's been pitching one heck of a game, and I'd hate to see the umpire get in his head right now. The 1 0 home. And this is going to find the crowd down the left field line. It's a ball and a strike. No runs, two hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. Now a swing, and he gets him to pop it up, and that'll get down for a base hit. Dan, are you even concerned about that? You've been pitching out of a wind-up ball game, and now you have to go to the stretch. It can be a concern sometimes, you but you try to in between starts to make sure that you throw enough pitches out of the stretch. And he's been out of the wind-up most of the game, so we'll see how he reacts here after this base hit. Here's Brett Gardner now, as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Set with the 0 and 1. Both clubs with three hits in the ball game. And this is on the ground to short. Could be two. There's one. The relay not in time as he beats the throw by a step. That was kind of a high degree of difficulty play that time. You see the off balance throw to second base, and he couldn't get a lot on it, but they did get the out. Here's the second baseman, DJ LeMayhew, 0 for 2 on his line thus far. First pitch coming, here it is. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Hey, I know the tying runs at first right here, but if the pitcher on the mound executes, keeps the ball in play, I think good things are going to happen. Cutter low, one and one. From the belt, the pitch. And that misses two and one. Throw over to the bag, and he'll get back in safely. No runs, three hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. The knees for a called strike, and it's back to even at two and two. He's set. Now the pitch. Got a full count. Three, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Payoff pitch home. This one's down to third. Chapman's got it. Throw on to Olsen will take care of him at first, and that ends the inning. The Yanks leave one. They still trail one nothing.
Striding forward now is the DH, Chris Davis. He'll lead it off as we start the home sixth. Davis. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. One oh. Man, this guy's had their number all game long. Up, down, in and out. He's pitching very well. The 1 0 home. That one finds the target on the outer half. It's one and two. Double barreled action in the Yankee bullpen now. A lefty and a right hander start to get loose. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. Fouled away. Swing and a ground ball to third. And that'll just sneak past his outstretched arm, a base hit. Hey, guys, he was obviously trying to bury that slider down and in. Now nice execution by the batter right there, back. keeping his hands inside and fighting Not it bad. off for a nice base hit. So that brings up the always intense Matt Chapman. One and oh the count. Come set, now the pitch. Swing and a liner. Foul. That ball foul. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. Nobody out, runner on first. Full count now, three and two. Keep in mind, people, the longer the at-bat, the higher the likelihood that this becomes his last inning. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Stanton has a read on it. One away. Up next for Oakland. No left fielder. Yeah. Pinter. Here comes the Yankee skipper on his way to the mound. And that will bring an end to the appearance by Jay Happ. So he'll depart after five and a third innings of work and with no shot to win the decision. Jonathan Holder enters to make an appearance on the mound as he inherits a runner at first with one out in the inning. Jonathan Holder. Chad Pinder will be the first to greet him here as he'll stand in with a runner at first and one away. From the stretch. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. Runners on first with one down. Good slider there, gets a swing and miss. He 
Here's the one and one pitch. Two balls, one strike. Short hit hard. Torres picks it up to second for one on the first. And talk about doing the job out of the bullpen. One batter, two outs, and the inning is over. Nothing doing there for the A's, but they lead it one to nothing. Stepping into the box, Aaron Judge. He'll lead it off here as we begin inning number seven. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. Wind up and the 0 1. Swung on and missed that strike two. I think a big reason why he's been so effective in this one that he's been just about getting ahead of every hitter. Seems like every one of them are 0 2, 1 and 2, and it's just about every at bat. And when that's the case, your chances of getting a good pitch to hit are way worse. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. He's been in total control out there tonight. Gets the leadoff guy with a strike out there, and it just seems like we've seen so many off-balance swings and weakly hit balls in this one. Giancarlo Stanton now. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. Into his wind up. Here comes the 1 0. Fastball at 94 miles an hour, and it's 1 and 1. Hey, this guy's done a better job than expected. He's made some bad pitches in the strike zone, but so far he hasn't gotten hurt by him. Now the 1 and 1 pitch. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Throw on to first, two gone. Now batting, the shortstop, Glaber Torres. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. He hits with two away as they continue to trail in this close game. Well, Matt, this has been a big inning on the mound. He's had to face the middle of the order, and so far he's held them at bay. Yeah, this feels like the kind of inning we'll look back on at the end of the game, even if the result of it changes dramatically here. Here comes the first pitch. Count one and oh. The 1 0. Swing and a miss. Looked like the slider there. A ball and a strike. His slider's been impressive all night long. If he can continue spinning it like that, he's going to be just fine. The 1 1 home. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. In there, a base hit. 
Boy, that's what's so disappointing as a pitcher, Dero. You make a really good pitch, and yet this guy's so big and so strong, he's able to muscle it into right field for a base hit. Yeah, you hand your batting gloves to the first base coach right there, and you thank your lucky stars. That's a nice A.V. To the plate now, Mike Ford, as he'll take a changeup here for strike one. Hey, this guy's been throwing a gem so far. We're moving on later into this game, and he's right at about league average for first pitch strikes. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. Well, you can see he's coming right at this guy, just pounding the ball in the strike zone. He certainly has the advantage now. This guy hasn't even swung the bat yet. Here it comes on nothing and two. He got him. Lively fastball that time, and it puts an end to the inning. One left for the Yankees. They trail this one, one to nothing. Settling in now, Sheldon Noisy. The second baseman, Sheldon Noisy. Here's the first pitch to him. Driven nicely into the gap. And this will kick off the base of the wall. And he will coast into second with a leadoff double. When you're leading by one run, you want to do everything you can to add to the lead and give your bullpen a little breathing room. It makes a big difference. So double here goes a long way towards making that a real possibility. At the plate now, Austin Allen, as he'll take a look at an off-speed pitch here that misses for ball one. Trying to add some padding to their lead in the form of that run standing out there at second base. One and oh pitch on the way. Hey, last two pitches back to back off speed then he's laid on the fastball he could pretty much do anything he wants right here on the mound. And he fouls this one off. The one two. Misses ball two. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Really good late bite on that slider right there. The best now, ones have that late action 22. that just darts at the last minute. They're so tough to get the bat on, and when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. Stepping in now, Ramon Laureano, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Ball and a strike now. One out and a runner on second base. Good slider there gets a swing and miss. The one two drilled right back up the middle. Loved by LeMahieu, and he'll whip this one over to first, and he gets his man for the second out. Now batting, right fielder, defense, Phil Scott. 
Riding in, Stephen Piscotti. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. Looking to keep this a one run game, the pitch. And this is a fastball that's right on the black, but ruled a ball. It's 2 0 now. Sometimes it can be difficult for a pitcher. You're facing a guy that's not known to be a big stick in the lineup. Sometimes the toughest thing is to be aggressive and throw strikes. 3 and 0 oh now. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters. So you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. Ready with the 3 0 -oh pitch. Taking all the way, it's three and one now. Men on third with two down. Hit on the ground out to short. Torres brings it in. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. One left for Oakland. They lead it one to nothing. Riding into the box, Gio Urshela, one for two on his line so far in the game. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. Well, and he gets the inning started with a bang as this is hit high and deep to left field. And as Yankees fans here on television quite frequently, see ya! A solo shot here to left, and this ball game is tied at one. What a great feeling right there as he circles the pillows. Finally able to get this offense potentially going with one swing of the bat. Being shut out all game, but not anymore. Here comes Bob Melvin now out of the Oakland dugout. And it looks as though that's going to be all for his starter here tonight. Won't get a decision in this one, but except for a few mistakes, he pitched pretty well here this evening. Yasmero Petit is on to pitch here in the eighth with nobody out. Number 36, Yusmero Petit. Now back, the first base. Into the box, Luke Voigt. As he'll go after the first pitch and promptly line one into left center field, and that's going to get down for a base hit. No mistake what he was sitting on. Fastball, middle of the plate, kept his hands back, stayed through the baseball, and delivers a hard hit line drive. At the plate, Kyle Higashioka. Trying to get that go-ahead run to scoring position now as he puts this one down. And they'll put the tag on him going to first, but the sacrifice is successful. Sacrifice was in order right there as he gets the bunt right. down right there. And sometimes it's easier to just tag him instead of making that throw to first base. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Brett Gardner, not much in the way of productivity from him so far, but he's got a chance to come through here in a crucial spot. Yeah, it's time now that he has to put the rest of those bats behind it because none of that matters if he can clutch up when it really counts. From the stretch, here's the pitch.
toppled high in the air out to right field. But Scotty's on the move. He makes the catch, and the runner from second will tag and hit for third. And he's up to third safely now with two gone in the inning. Now batting, second baseman, DJ. So a runner at third, two men are out, and that'll bring in DJ LeMayhew. First pitch on its way. Hey, I don't have a problem with him taking a pitch right there. It's a good opportunity to see what he's got. Also a good opportunity to see if he's going to be pounding the strike zone. He set the 0-1. Popped him up. Allen waits on it. He hauls it in, and the potential go-ahead run will not come around to score. But the Yankees are able to tie things up on the solo home run. Bottom of the eighth coming up. All tied at one and one. Chad Green is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 57, Chad Green. So stepping in, Marcus Semyon. He's working on a one for three thus far. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Slider finds the zone for a strike. A great job pounding the zone strike one. When you got a great hitter in the box, got to get ahead. Count leverage is a must. Simeon in an 0 and 2 hole here. Green, a right hander standing 6 foot 3. He's a 5 year vet at the major league level. Here it comes 0 and 2. And on 0 and 2 he misses with a fastball. Man, the pitcher let the guy off easy right there. That old 2 pitch wasn't even close. I'd rate that as a non-competitive pitch. The one two misses for the second ball going to need to make a little bit of an adjustment with a slider release and at least tempt the hitter that it's going to be a strike. Here now the two two line to the right side and there's a base hit so just like that the leadoff man's aboard representing the potential go ahead run. Man, I thought this at bat was over. Down 0-2. He's able to work himself back into a hitter's count 2-2. And he's able to find the knock out there. Now time is called, and we'll have a pinch runner at first, and that'll be a wise decision as he's the potential go-ahead run. That'll bring up the power hitter, Matt Olson. As he takes a called strike on the black, it's 0-1. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Oh, 1 here's the pitch. And it looks like the Yankees will have a left-hander up and throwing in the bullpen. one waves and misses for strike number two go ahead runs aboard here at first with nobody out and a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight talk about blowing it by a guy geez I mean that fastball was way behind him when the swing came through the zone I have to think he was looking for something off speed and he just couldn't pull the trigger on that fastball
So now to the plate, Chris Davis. And a pitch out, nothing doing though, and that's ball one. is going to find the crowd down the left field line. It's a ball and a strike. Possible go ahead runs on first one away. And this is low ball two two and one. And I believe they'll say he broke the plane as yes he did. It's ruled a strike. Here now the 2-2. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. 3-2 count. You send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. Number 13, Jorge Mateo. Before the delivery, a check on that go-ahead run at first. And again, a throw, and he'll get dirty, but he's back in safely. Another throw over, and the fans don't like this at all. Hoping to send him packing, pitch on its way. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. That was a big strikeout there, guys. The best pitchers have the ability to strike guys out when they really need to. And that second out was really important at this point of the game. Could be something we look back on later when the game's over. And that'll bring in Matt Chapman. Strike called. Now the throw down. He is not close as he's in there with a stolen base. It was pretty obvious he would likely be on the move with two outs, and I'm sure the defense knew it too, but he has lightning speed and was able to take the bag anyways. He set the 0-1. Here's a fastball that crowds him a bit, and it's 1-1. One one. Go-ahead runs in scoring position here with two down. On the ground to third. On to first, and this will remain a tie ball game as the inning is over. The A's strand one, still tied one apiece. Jorge Mateo will remain in the game in the eighth spot and take over at shortstop. For the athletic, now playing shortstop, number 13. All set to start the ninth in this one. Here's big Aaron Judge. And he's 0 for in this one batting out of the three spot. First pitch on its way. Here we go with inning number nine as the first pitch misses for ball one. One oh count here it is. Oh, Drilled to the right side. A dive and he knocks it down. And a good try to recover that time, but he'll beat it out as he's aboard to kick off the inning. So he waited till the ninth inning, but he comes through here to extend the hit streak. That was close. Yeah, Matty B, you see that wry smile of him coming out of the box right there. He knew what was on the line. He'd be lying if he did it. But there's a lot of pressure on him because you're walking into that batter's box thinking, I have a nice streak going, and this is more than likely going to be my last A.B. He comes through in the clutch. And that's inside for a ball, 1-0.
And it's fouled away. Go ahead runs aboard here at first with nobody out. Grounder down the line at third. But a foul ball. One and two the count now. Fouled off. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. I don't blame the pitcher one bit for trying to get the chase right there. He's been fouling everything off. He's still got the entire arsenal open to him. So we'll see what pitch he comes with next. Here's the 2-2 pitch. Go ahead runs aboard here at first with nobody out. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline. But a foul ball as it holds it 2-2. Two and two. Ready with another two strike offering. Smoked on the ground up the middle. He'll go to the bag for one. On to first, a double play. And there are the final numbers for the Oakland starter. He was on point from the get go this evening. Hey, one of the things you can't control as a starting pitcher is whether you're going to win or lose the game. He pitched awfully well in this one. As of right now, he's in line for a no decision. Standing in now, Torres. As he'll watch one miss down and in for a ball, 1 0. Oh. Last time through was a base hit. Nope. Way inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. And a good eye that time to lay off the fastball. It's 3-0. Now with the base is empty, I think he needs to be careful not to just groove one here just because it's 3-0. He's a guy that could ambush you and lose one over the wall. Ready with the 3-0. 3-1. Three and one, the pitch. And he lays off, ball four. Now the potential go-ahead run is on base here. Man, the pitcher's wondering how he didn't get that call. Busted him inside on a 3-1 count, and the ump thought it was just a tad off the plate. Tough to get the benefit of the doubt from the umpire when you fall behind an account like that, though. Now time is called, and we'll have a pinch runner at first, and that'll be a wise decision as he's the potential go-ahead run. For the plate now is the designated hitter, Mike Ford. There are two gone and the possible go-ahead run at first. Here's the first pitch. Number 14, Tyler Rose. Hard ground ball to third. Chapman brings it in. And as it turns out, the two-out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. Yanks leave one. Score remains tied one to one. You're Tyler Wayne will stay in the ball game as a new shortstop. Now playing football. Number 14. So coming to the plate, Chad Pinder. He'll lead off the bottom of the ninth inning. The athletic. The left fielder. Yeah. He's set and Pinder. the pitch. Here's the first pitch slider that just tails out of the zone. It's ball one. 
Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. A one and no delivery. Hey. Splitter taken here, two and one. Well, he just threw that fastball by him. I think it's about time to choke up on that bat and get that foot down. He's awfully tardy right now. Swung on and missed. He didn't even come close to contact on a ball way out of the zone. One out. Well, we've seen some really good pitching from now these guys in this one. The bullpen has looked sharp and have backed up a nice effort turned in by the starter. These days, pitching has become a full staff effort, and I've been impressed with the job these guys have done so far. At the plate now, Sheldon Noisy. This will take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. He's one for two in this one. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Fastball, and he's quickly in the hole, 0 and 2. Hey, it looks like this guy's going to work in the upper part of the strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can adjust to the way he pitches. One out, nobody on. Too high. One and two. Tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first and no swing. It's ball two. And he struck him out as well. So the bottom of the order providing little resistance here. And there are two away. Classic slider okay. down and away for the okay. strike out there. Oh, Not a whole lot to say about that pitch that hasn't oh, been right. said a million times already. That's just a real tough pitch for a hitter to pick up out of a pitcher's hand. So they end up chasing when they're in protect mode. Maybe Zach better. Britton Who makes the ball three. needing to get the final out now of the ninth to send this one to extra Number innings. 53. Zach Britton. In now, Austin Allen. As with two away, he'll swing and miss at the first pitch. It's 0 and 1. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Comes set. The 0 1. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's 1 and 1. Two out, nobody on. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. The 2 1 pitch. He's fallen behind now. 3 and 1. Well, this is the matchup they wanted bringing in the reliever, but falling behind 2 and 0 oh doesn't exactly help the situation very much. The three and one pitch. And he lays off ball four. So now the potential winning run is aboard at first. Yeah, that strategy is great when it works, but when it doesn't, it's ugly. And he was here to face one guy, and he couldn't get it done. So the lineup flips over and digging in Ramon Laureano. He's got a chance to end this one and send these fans home happy if he can get a ball deep enough into the gap. Hey now. Great pitch right there. 
As a pitcher, you don't want hitters to get too comfortable in that batter's box. That pitch in now might set up some pitch outside. And this is lifted high in the air down the right field line. Judge is there, makes the catch, and the side is retired. One left for Oakland. Score remains deadlocked at one. J.B. Wendelkin takes the mound as he'll be the first man to pitch here in extra innings. New inning set to get underway. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Gio Urshela so far two for three in this one. Well Matt this is one of the problems. This guy's a good fastball particularly low fastball hitter. It doesn't matter how hard or how low you throw it. That's right into this wheelhouse. What you want to do with this guy is move the ball from the belt up to get him to chase something that, that maybe he'll pop up in the infield. And he pops him up here on 0-2 as this is drifting toward the right side of the infield. And he'll put this one away for the first down of the inning. That's exactly what they wanted out of that pitch mm -hmm. up in the zone. They took him up the ladder, and he couldn't get up to it. So that was an easy pop-out. Well-executed pitch there. Now batting, Luke Voigt. He singled his last time up. Here comes the first pitch. Ball one. Righty against righty as this is taken for a ball. It's 1-0. Bases are empty, one man in. And that pitch misses in the dirt, and it's 2-0 and now. That'll find its way out of play. Still going to have a good hitter's count. 2-1 and one now. Pitch on the way. Pitch sharply, but foul down the right side. This is on the ground over to first. And they'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out. Now batter. The catcher. Kyle Higashioka. Stepping into the box, Kyle Higashioka, a hit in two tries for him so far. He's set, here it comes. One and oh, here it is. Swung on, but it's pulled foul wide of third. One and two. Here it is. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he strikes him out here for route number three. So after a scoreless top half, they'll have a chance to win it here in the bottom half. So the Yanks go one, two, three. Still tied one apiece. Standing in, Stephen Piscotti. He'll go to work yeah, trying play. to do something about breaking this one-one tie. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Oh, that's not the play. Now the 1 0. -oh. Yeah. 
Sinker misses that time, and it's two and one. Hard hit ball to second. And that's out number one. The batter number 13. Just up. Jorge. Mateo. Now at the play, Jorge Mateo. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Strike taken as that one catches the outer part of the plate. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. Here's a bouncing ball headed to LeMahieu at second. Throw gets him, two down. Now that the first baseman. Matt Olsen. So here's the Oakland cleanup batter, Matt Olson. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. First offering on its way. And the slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Looked like a slider, perhaps, but it missed badly, and it's 2-0. I don't mind him trying to pitch him backwards right there with those two early count sliders, but now he finds himself in a situation where he's going to have to come fastball. Seared down the first baseline. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. And Boyd will take this one over to the bag, and that ends the inning. So they go quietly here in this half inning, and we'll have to cancel those dinner reservations, partner. 11th inning coming up, all tied at 1-1. One and one. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Brett Gardner struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. From the stretch. Lays off 1 and 0. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Now here it comes. To two and two now. You know, from a hitter's perspective, you get pounded in. And then he throws a nasty changeup away. Is the mindset to tell yourself that he's going to go in and out all day long, or is he going to double up? That's the cat and mouse we're seeing right now. Oh, and look at this. High in the air and deep. And when this ball comes down, they'll have taken the lead home run. Well, if somebody is anxious to end this thing and get the heck out of here, we'll see if that leadoff homer stands up. Either way, that's definitely a way to start the extra frame. Now back, second baseman, DJ LeMay. Stepping in now, DJ LeMayhew. As he'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half. It's 0 and 1.
And the pitch. Out in front there as this one's pulled off to the left side. Can't quite get around in time to keep it fair and it remains 0-2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. Now digging in now, Aaron Judge. He's one for four for the game. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Nope. A ball of no strikes. Well, he punched out the last guy, but he didn't get any favors from the blue on the first pitch in this at bat. Probably should be ahead of this hitter instead of behind. And yeah, that one misses badly. It's ball two. Looks like this guy's afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. Gave up that home run earlier in the inning. Needs to get back to being aggressive. Now a drive by Judge. Deep left field. And he will make the play out there. And there are two away now. now well, he hit that ball pretty well. But the only problem was that he pulled off it just a bit. The location was a little on the outer half. So he would have hit it even better if he would have stayed through the middle of the field with it. And digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. First delivery to him on the way. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. And smart to lay off there as the fastball misses. It's one and two now. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Noisy is there to make the catch and the side is retired. So they pick up a run on the solo home run as that'll give them the lead. One last shot here as we go to the bottom of the 11th now. The Yankees lead it 2-1. to one. Tommy Kingley gets the call from the pen and they've saved him for the 11th as he'll try and take this one home. Tommy Kingley. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Riding in once again, Chris Davis. He's working on a one for three thus far. Not an easy thing to do to score off the game's elite closers, but down by one at home, you've got a chance with that last at bat. No balls and a strike to count. Comes set and the 0 1. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Now the 1 and 1 pitch. going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse.
struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say, his third punch out of the game. That strikeout was all about setting the hitter up with hard stuff. You can see the first three pitches are coming in fast, and then he slows it down on the fourth pitch, knowing the hitter is sort of conditioned for the hard stuff. Yet another way to upset a hitter's timing. At the plate, Matt Chapman, as he swings and misses at a first pitch fastball, 0-1. Pitch on the way. Swing and a miss, and he's quickly in the hole 0 and 2. Looks to me like he's trying to make adjustments pitch to pitch up there at the plate, but he's looked completely thrown off so far. Late on the first one, way out front on the second. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back to back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. No problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start this inning. That's back to back K's and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. Into the box Chad Pinder as the changeup to him drops in there for the first strike. 0 for 4 with a strikeout thus far. There's ball one. And think about it. In game one of this series, they've already had to go deep into their bullpen. This could affect them for the rest of the weekend if they don't get really good starting pitching. Ball. Two balls and a strike. Here's a big swing and a miss on the fastball, two and two. That's just too much velocity upstairs to get good wood on it. It's going to have to lower his sights. Last strike now for Oakland. Two two is a changeup that misses three and two. You know he's probably cheating on that inside pitch after he got jammed earlier. If you're on the mound right now, you want to try to hit that outside corner, and there's a pretty good chance you'll get him to roll over something. Grounded to the right. LeMayhew's got it. Throw on to first, and the Yankees continue the roll they've been on. Seven straight victories now as this ball game is over. Well, they had to put in a couple of extra innings of work, but hey, listen, a win is a win, and any win is good, especially on the road. Close one tonight, 2-1 to one the final score. Zach Britton claims the win out of the pen his first. Tommy Kingley wraps it up for the save, his seventh of the campaign. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.